Alright yo, what is going on you guys? RJ3 Vlogs here, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video is um going to be a spooky scary Saturday's video, okay? It is Saturday, I'm fixing my chair. <laughs> it is Saturday, it is spooky scary Saturday time. I haven't done one in a hot second or two. Uh, <laughs> but, you know what, I decided it's, you know, it's time. I haven't done one in a while. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like it, okay? Get off my back. <laughs> no. But, um, here we are. So, if you do not know what Spooky Scary Saturdays is, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, I tell you this every video of Spooky Scary Saturdays. And now, I'm gonna make uh, the exception that since, you know, I haven't posted Spooky Scary Saturdays, you might have forgotten what this video is about um it's where we come well people watching the video we come together almost every saturday took a hiatus think i'll be posting every saturday now um so every saturday we're coming together as our little 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 uh nation on youtube um we come together as a little nation on youtube we come together you know watch some scary videos we sit back, relax, grab some snacks. Okay, listen, this time I'm talking Pop-Tart, specifically the chocolate Pop-Tart, um, Kool-Aid, specifically grape, and uh, the, pick, the third snack could be your pick. But anyways, first video. <laughs> Alright guys, so this first animation comes from none other than Meat Canyon. We've seen videos from Meat Canyon, I think, a couple of times. <sighs> he is very... That Meat Canyon has a dark mind. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But we have today, I bought my friend his dream car, hashtag blessed. And um, I can already tell it's like a David Dobrik thing because... Look at, look at the first frame. <laughs> You know, you can't look at that frame and not think it's from this, you know, David. Um, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so. Yes. What's up? Yep, it's David. Well, uh, you picked me up with your camera and all these people, so um, I'm assuming I'm getting a car. Okay, well, I got a surprise for you. Guess whose it is. <laughs> I don't know, Dylan. Is it mine? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my 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 guys. Oh guys, guys. Jesus. Now, Dylan, while this is a super nice thing you've done, I just... Hey, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't do that. Just... But what is this? This is the sixth car you've given me. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, it's just oh, yeah. so oh, 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 He's button us all multiple cars. Yeah. How many cars is it gonna take until it's not surprising anymore? I mean, I get you wanna have a reaction for the video, but holy fuck! Let's ease up on the cackling and cheering for five fucking minutes. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Now Dylan. I appreciate it. I just can't afford the insurance and property taxes on all these Lamborghinis, man. I push carts at Target, for God's sakes. Do you know how obnoxious I look driving a neon green Lamborghini to a minimum wage job? It's horrible. I can't sell them because you've leased all of these cars under your name. So now I have crippling debt and six Lamborghinis. Who would want that, Dylan? Who? Tell me. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Greg? <laughs> What are you trying to say? Honestly, what I'm saying is, I don't want this car. Or any of the cars you've given me. You don't- You, you fucked you don't me, deny, Dylan. You don't deny I'm totally car. fucked. What's your name? What are you even talking about? My name is Greg. WRONG! What's your name? I don't- Now, I, Dylan, calm down! I don't know what you want My name's Dylan's friend! Your existence is being my friend! When people think of you, they really think of me. And that's who you are now. Fuck this. I'm getting out of here, man. Oh my gosh. 
Nice no, Tesla, no. by the way. That's good. No. no. Greg, you good? The noises. I have absorbed his nutrients. No one will refuse my generosity again. Right? No, oh, yeah. No, yeah, okay. right. no, 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 called night security training video by Squimpus McGrimpus okay this is a new person Freddy Fazbear's Pizza welcome to your new job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza this video will elaborate on your duties as a nighttime security guard okay. and will get you up to speed on the tools you will I be really using I don't think I won't be a security guard here but okay section 1 CCTV system okay. On your work desk should be a large tablet. Instead of using a desktop computer to access CCTV cameras, you'll be using this touchscreen tablet. Okay. Pressing the button on the side will boot it up and introduce you to a possibly unfamiliar interface. There should be a map of the restaurant on the bottom right corner. Pressing the buttons on the map will change the... What was that about? Section 2. Door controls. You might have noticed the two large doors to your sides, and also your lack of provided flashlight. But why is that? You will need to use a flashlight with these specially engineered door controls. Pressing the white button will activate the light set outside the door, illuminating a... ...possible dangers. Oh, this video's cursed. <laughs> During the night, we allow our animatronics to roam the building to keep them from locking up and keeping repair costs low. However, this does pose the threat of an animatronic entering your office and possibly damaging valuable equipment. Use the security doors to keep them out of your office. Are you done? Ten. That video was cursed. Uh, let's just move on. I'm All right, guys. So this next animation after that creepy other video is titled "My Creepy Neighbor Broke Into My House and Tried to Kidnap Me," and this was uploaded by Stephen D. Carrie's boyfriend had just inherited his aunt's house after she passed away. She was blind, so the house had speakers and wires around telling her. Back door open, fridge open, back room Does window Does every open. Have that Honestly, the robotic voice kind of freaked Carrie out, uh, so yeah, the couple had to go too. through the house and remove tons of wires. After moving in, they got a puppy, and it was nice Cute not being dogo. alone. Her boyfriend had to leave for the weekend because of work, so she stayed home. One day, Carrie was out walking with her puppy, and he started wagging near the fence. She turned, thinking he was making friends with the bird or critter again. But it was a man, tall, chubby, and unkempt, grinning at them. What a cool dog, he shouted. Thanks, he's a Native American Indian dog, Shout at me. she responded. <laughs> oh, I have a rare breed too, see? He then proceeded to point at a small okay. Shih Tzu dog. I see, cool, you have a good one. Carrie started feeling uneasy. Why don't I come over and let our dogs meet? Maybe we can do play dates. 
You're new in town, right? Cause the old lady there died? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Now before we find out the intentions of Carrie's suspicious neighbor, we have a new sponsor for today and it's- no, we'll sk I'll be right back, we skipping this. No, no free ads. You're new in town, right? Cause the old lady there died? Upset Nosey, that he brother. mentioned her boyfriend's aunt and she was scared he wanted to come over. I'm sorry, but I'm not looking to make friends right now. Have a good one. Oh, come on. Anytime's a good time to make new friends. Yeah, I said I'm good, brother. And he brother. proceeded to start bolting around the corner towards her direction. Carrie panicked. She grabbed her puppy Bro, from the ground and rushed fine. to the house, locking all the doors. Right all exterior doors locked. House secure. Wait, I thought I removed all the wires. She hid behind a kitchen counter as it was the only place in the house with the windows and doors couldn't see. The puppy got angry and started nibbling her, but she made sure not to let him go because she was afraid this man wanted to steal her puppy. She hears someone opening her back gate to the yard and she sees him. The man with the Hawaiian shirt Bro. is out there. He started looking at the windows and I sliding door on the friends. porch that looked into the kitchen. He tried the sliding door, grunting angrily when it wouldn't open. She was looking for her phone but realized that it was actually in the porch and she hoped he wouldn't notice. Front door opened, unsecured, and immediately heard banging and scratching. She took this chance to make her way out to the sliding back door to grab her phone and ran back and locked it again. Oh, there you are, I see you now. She just locked it so it was okay, but she didn't know if he was going to shatter the glass. She held her phone up and said, I caught the police. They're on their way and my cameras have your face, so please leave. He smiled and said, You haven't caught anyone yet. All I wanted was to play with your dog. You're such a tease. Carrie called 911 while he watched. She requested help and they asked her to stay on the phone. He smiled. He held his hands up and left. The dispatch sent someone out and she gave them a picture from her phone. However, the next day there was no news of capture even though they said they would update her. And so she stepped outside and there he was, standing in the other yard, smiling at her. Hey, you wanna play today then? He began laughing loudly. She ran inside, put her puppy away, and called the police again, and they said it would take time to arrive since last time it was a false alarm. No, my Front man. screen door opened, unsecured. She ran to the sliding door and it was unlocked. She quickly locked it and heard banging on the side door. Carrie called her last hope for help, her boyfriend's mother who lived a couple blocks down. The woman was a black belt and a boxer. My she bad. called her crying and the mother rushed over and all she heard from her kitchen was the scream, If you don't leave, I'll be forced to take you down. She looked out her curtain and saw her and the man outside. He was holding something shiny in his back pocket. Her boyfriend's mother suddenly grabbed the man and kicked him in the ribs as hard as she could and made him drop to the ground. She screamed at Carrie and to call the cops again. Tell them he has a knife, they'll come quicker. The cops arrived soon after and the man was arrested. Carrie asked them what he was doing. Was he planning to hurt my puppy? The officer told her. You're naive if you thought this man wanted your puppy. He was after you, miss. He's a wanted criminal. Apparently, he was a suspect they couldn't find until now. Her boyfriend's mom stayed with Carrie over the night to make sure she was okay. A few days later, her boyfriend came back home and he was updated on everything that happened. He proceeded to put up cameras and more security. He even put the speakers back into the house as well. As that voice was actually was able to help protect Carrie that horrifying weekend. Moral of this video is you see a man in a Hawaiian shirt wanting to have a play date with your dog. You reach in your back pocket and take the knife out. <laughs>
So let's dive in. True horror story about the lumberjack. My name is Lewis and I live in Switzerland. Cool. This story <laughs> happened five years ago during the winter holidays. Okay. It was an icy cold day and the snow was falling continuously. So we had to warm the house all day long with the firewood, putting it into the fireplace. My dad told us all the time that we should take care of the firewood. However, for the next days, we didn't do anything but just played Nintendo. Eventually, we noticed late around 9 p.m. that we had run out of wood. Dad got angry. So, as a punishment, he sent me and my older sister to the local lumberjack who was famous in the area. His shop was, was located one and a half kilometers away from our house. He was a really tall guy with a long beard and wore a black and white lumberjack shirt. Little stereotypical lumberjack that we all know and love. The classic lumberjack. Anyway, at first he seemed very talkative. We ordered two bags full of wood, which were about 50 kilograms. He said, okay, hold on. It'll take about 15 minutes to cut and wrap everything. That voice. <laughs> All of a sudden, my sister had to go to the restroom. Well, of course you do. He said that he would let her know where the toilet is, so she followed no, no, no. him. I'm about to throw my sister offside and say, pick a bush. Pick a bush. I was waiting for about 15 minutes, and then I noticed the place was silent. I saw neither my sister nor the man. I called my sister's name, but there was this no answer. This is why I go take her outside and say, pick a bush. Then I got a message from my dad that if we bought the wood, then we should come home immediately. Nice scribble, According dog. to the local news, the police are looking for a serial That's killer the in the village jack. 50 kilometers from here. I'm not sure. Dad also right? attached a picture, and unfortunately, he looked very similar to the lumberjack. My heart dropped. I wanted to scream, but then he came with the bag of wood suddenly. He was smiling, but I could feel that something was weird. Getting an off vibe. He looked joyful. Why are you, why are you so close to Please ask me where's your sister, he said and winked at me. She's certainly not far away from you. Then I noticed the red stains on his shirt. I nervously opened a wood Don't sack. Tell me she's in the bag. And the pink hair clip of my sister came out. I was full of anger. I grabbed a wooden bag with all my strength and hit the man. He screamed and fell on the floor, and I pulled out my pocket knife and stabbed him. Bro, we Two couldn't, or three why couldn't you be the last story? <laughs> Suddenly I heard a loud scream out of nowhere. Stop, Lewis! It was my sister. That was a prank! She was crying. I, I couldn't think straight. My head was all messed up. What have I done? I killed the wrong guy. I dropped the knife and stared at his cold body. But then I recognized that I had no time. I knew that we had to get rid of this body quickly while we were still alone in the shop without employees or customers. So I quickly looked around and found a hidden room, which was locked. We kicked the door and pushed him inside. And we were about to turn on the light in the room to find a cover, but then what I found was a huge shock. The room was full of people who had been cut in several he pieces, is a murderer. and the floor was covered with blood. I mean, technically, if people knew about this, they shouldn't really go to jail. He was a murderer at the time. They didn't know he was. They thought, you know, he was a lumberjack. He was a murderer. I feel like we should get rewarded for that, don't you think? J just me? Yeah. The lumberjack was the real serial killer. <laughs> We were so terrified that we quickly covered him with some fabric and then ran out of the shop. We ran home as fast as we could. My dad asked us what happened, but we couldn't tell our parents anything. Since that day, we always made sure that we keep enough wood before the heavy snow. But I'm still wondering if the police found all the bodies at that shop. Well, I mean, it wasn't locked anymore. See, that dude, he did the right thing. He's like, yo, he's like, oh, you killed my sister? You killed my sister? Well, <laughs> All right, guys, so this last animation is not really an animation. It's a short film. Um, 
This is called Not Alone in Here Short Horror Film by Pony Smasher. Um, to the, uh, it's a new person, but based off of the thumbnail, I feel like it's going to be a good one. Good one to end the video, which is nice, so let's go ahead and start. Exact same routine every night. Yeah. I'm not gonna wash your mouth. I don't care if it's midnight or even three in the morning. I see that. Lock the door in my. I know I locked the door. Haha, <laughs> I'm not crazy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change in regular clothes, grab a suitcase, and just head south. Never look back. Just leave my house. Oh, what about my family heirlooms? No, I don't care about that right now. Bruh, she about to die. Nah, she died. She did in the video. She did in this video. She died. Rest, rest in peace. You know how you can sometimes who you are. feel the presence of another person before you even know they're there? I hate that feeling. Rest in peace to Karen. Young, old Karen over here. Rest in peace. She about to die today. My apologies. Bro, this silence. What would I even tell the police? It feels like there's someone in my house? Shit. Hi, honey. Just checking in to see where you are. Oh, you're in night clothes. Great. Then I'll see you soon. By the way, did you guys go to the shooting range today? Okay. I was wondering why one of the guns were missing. My battery level went low. So. Okay, see you soon. Bye. This is so stupid. If you're going to, hold on. Let me just let me just teach you guys something. If, first of all, if you're like young Karen over here, and <laughs> you're going to pretend call your, I think, son or husband, I don't know. Um, if you're going to pretend call someone, make it believable. Like, hold on. Give me, give me one second. If, okay, see, if you're going to pretend to call someone, make it believable. She's talking about, oh, um. Hi, honey. <laughs> See over here, like you can hear in her voice that like she's scared. She very scared. She's like, oh, uh, did you go to the, the shooting range today, by the way? Okay. Um, that's why one of the guns are missing. See, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bro, you need to make it believable. Like, there's two options. Making a believable call, and option two is, who in my house? Who in here? She pretty brave going down that hallway, because I know I wouldn't. <laughs> Just the silence. It's like I hear your AC going. That's how silent it is. Did I leave that open? Bro, nobody else here. What you doing in my house? It took all the courage I had. Which is a lot. In the house. And a big knife. Could have been a little more sharp. the house.
people like knives, like young Karen over here. Some people like guns. Some people like bats. Right, metal bat. If you have a wooden bat, you gotta. I didn't break find it in anything, half. which for some reason felt both good yeah. and bad. I had a million thoughts. My psychopath. Would it be crazy to go stay in a hotel? Am I mentally hotel? ill? I mean, this could Is all be in ghost? my head. I haven't really seen any proof of anything. It was just an open door. Maybe I should sleep in the bathroom where I could lock the door. No. You're supposed to be safe in your own home. I'm an adult. I'm not afraid of the door. You can't lock your bedroom door? Of course I locked every door. But just in case something was still in here, I didn't want to lock it inside. I wanted it to be able to leave. <laughs> For a moment, I felt pretty good about myself. Proud of not letting my fear get to me. But then, I happened to glance it. And I froze with fear. I could still see it in the corner of my eye. I didn't dare to look right at it. Maybe it didn't know I saw it. Maybe it will stay there if I keep my eyes on the phone. Just pretend I haven't seen it. Could I dial 911? Could I make a run for it? Maybe I... Maybe it's still in there. This could be my chance. Go, 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 go. Wait! Do not get grabbed from underneath the bed. That's a rookie mistake. It was just a day or two before I was found. To be honest, I wish it had killed me. Instead, I'm trapped inside. Worst of all, I'm not alone in here. For uh, <laughs> for his first time on this video, Bonnie's there. I knew I felt that this would be good. Got that up, brother. Got that up. That was, to be honest, a nice video to end this video with. That, huh? This was a nice video to end with. Um, it gave me the chills. That that's for sure. It kind of did scare me just a tiny bit. You know, I don't know who that was. That was Karen's evil side. That's how she gets when. She yells at you, I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. It feels good to react to some scary spooky scary videos again. And um, I promise, I mean, I will do this every Saturday. I mean, I'm honestly doing nothing here in like I guess you could say quarantine still, because everything's going bad again. Um that light did nothing at all. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe now to be done. So have a great day. Hopefully I made yours. If today was your birthday, then have a happy birthday and peace out. Bye. Hey